Welcome to another segment of the SII Motivational Minutes. Um, hope the segment can be of value to you. Today, we're going to talk about the mind, understanding the mind. Um, if I was to ask everyone to explain or describe their front door, without fail, everyone would be able to do it. If I was to say, describe your microwave, without fail, everyone would be able to do it. If I was to say, describe your refrigerator, without fail, everyone would be able to do it. But if I was to say, to describe your mind, I would get a deer in the headlight look. Here's why it's important to understand your mind. You need to know that you have a conscious mind, you have a, a critical divide or a portion that's a critical analytical uh, mind, that's the gatekeeper, and then you have the subconscious mind, and you have a superconscious mind. See, when you're going throughout the day, you're driving to work or you're at work and you're performing tasks, your conscious mind is sort of alert. But what's driving your habits, what's driving your behaviors, what's dictating everything is your subconscious mind. And that's why it's important to understand or get a image of your mind and understand that image. Because essentially it's creating, it's dictating, it's mandating, and it's orchestrating everything. You know, you think that you're performing a nominal task and that you're just doing it. No, it's a program in the subconscious mind. So that's why it's important for you to understand your mind. Uh, so with that being said, um, a lot of us have beliefs that are no longer serving us, that, that are keeping us stuck. And the entire planet operates off of belief. I'll give you an example. You may be saying that, you know, you want to make more money. You know, you're saying that with your mouth and you're saying it with your head, your conscious mind. But in the subconscious, the belief is I'm not worthy of money. I'm not deserving of money. Uh, I don't know how to manage money. Money is bad. Money is evil. Uh, if you have money, you're greedy. You see, you have all these erroneous beliefs that's invisible, but you see the effect from the cause, which the belief is the cause, and the effect is your current results, your current outcomes, your current harvests, your current yields. And it could be the same way in relationship, not just money. It works in every area. So let's say relationships, right? Like you continue to attract the same um, type of mates and you're wondering why you're like, why does this just keep happening to me? You know, why does this keep happening to me? You know, that person's worthless. The first thing is when you judge someone else, you're judging yourself. And then the next thing is it has nothing to do with the person. It has everything to do with your belief system. So, you have some beliefs that are not serving you. Like, you know, you may be saying, oh, I want the perfect guy or the perfect girl. But in your subconscious mind, the belief is you're not lovable. You see how that works? You're saying to yourself at the core level, you're not lovable, but you want uh attractive mate. See, that's out of balance. It's out of line. It's out of order. It's not going to work. So what you have to do is you have to go in and do the inner work, begin to work on yourself, uh, begin to identify your thoughts, begin to identify your beliefs. So you become aware of them and then you can uproot them and install a new belief, just like a computer. You know, I mean, basically there's a program running and if you're going to get your desired outcome, your desired result, you're going to have to upgrade the programming because the system that you're currently, the program that's running is currently is faulty and it's not going to align with what you say you want. 
and nothing's going to happen until you change this belief. That's just how it works. Um, so just recapping on SII Motivational Minutes with your host, Dwight Lee. Uh, we were talking about, you know, if I asked someone, you know, to describe their front door, they'd be able to do it. I asked them to describe their microwave, they'd be able to do it. Asked them to describe their refrigerator, they would be able to, to detail describe it. But if I asked them to describe their mind, they would not be able to do it. They would give me a crazy deer in the headlight look. Um, and then we went through examples of how the universe is operating off belief and how um, with money, like we can consciously, you know, alertly say that we want more money or we desire more money or we want the promotion. But at the core level, at the deep level, we have this belief that I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. Or that's about ourselves. Or you have this uh, belief that money is bad or money is evil and that you're greedy if you have it, so on and so forth. So the way to rise above our current circumstance, condition, and situation is to identify our thoughts, identify our beliefs, identify our expectations. And then we got to uproot those things that's no longer serving us and reinstall uh, new thoughts, new beliefs, new expectations. This is the only way it works, folks. If you do not go in and change this um, permanently because you have the power to do so, you're gonna continue to get the same exact results, similar results or worse results. Um, so that's it for this segment of Understanding Your Mind on SII Motivational Minutes with your host, Dwight Lee. I uh, hope that this will help you all out until the next episode. Continue to do the inner work.